What is up, my Metaverse family? <laughs> Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for joining me again on this YouTube channel. My name is Jake, the On-Chain Gamer, and you're watching On-Chain Gaming. And I cannot stop myself, I'm sorry, but I just continue to buy more and more NFTs for Mirandus. And this is either gonna turn out to be an incredible, incredible idea. The game is gonna be absolutely magnificent. There's gonna be millions of players and it's gonna turn out to be one of the most profitable investing decisions I ever made or Mirandus is gonna end up being a flop and I'm gonna have wasted almost $100,000 on NFTs. Now, on a probability perspective, I think that the successful Mirandus is more likely than the dud Mirandus, which is why I continue to invest more in this game. But honestly, I need to take a break after this, but I am super, super excited about this. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about this brand new NFT that I bought for over $15,000. Um, we're gonna be getting into why I bought it, how I got this deal on it, and why I am so excited about Mirandus going forward. So if you're excited for this video, remember to leave a big thumbs up. And then also if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed yet, what are you doing? Make sure you hit subscribe, click that notification bell. So without further ado, let's roll the intro. So if we look here on OpenSea, you can see that nine days ago, I paid 1.2 million gala for an NFT. We can see that 1.2 million gala at today's price is worth $15,384. I'm buying these digital assets like I have infinite money, even though I don't have infinite money. So at a certain point here, these things are going to have to start generating some sort of a revenue or I'm going to have to stop buying NFTs. But I, I really think that they're going to be able to start generating revenue at some point here in in the near future. So you just saw that I bought this for 1.2 million gala. And, and what is it that I bought? What, what did I buy? So what I bought is actually a majestic weapon shop. And there's only gonna be five majestic weapon shops in all of Mirandus. And since we know that there's gonna be five citadels, five different kingdoms, it means that there's only gonna be one majestic weapon shop in each of the Citadel. So because I now already own a Majestic Forge, which is also one of five, and then I also own the Majestic Weapon Shop, it essentially means that in one of the kingdoms of Mirandus, I am gonna have a monopoly on Majestic weapons, which is just absolutely cool. The fact that even kings are gonna have to buy their majestic weapons from me is just a really, really cool place to be in. I cannot wait to be into the world of Mirandus, where I am much cooler than I am in real life. All right, so if we look here on the Miranda store, you can see that the Majestic Armor Shop is already sold out. All five of those are gone. The Majestic Forge, all five of those are gone, one of which I am an owner of. And the Majestic Weapon Shops are also sold out, and they've actually been sold out since before the Majestic Forges were sold out. When I was looking at what I wanted to buy, I decided on a Majestic Forge partly because the Majestic Weapon Shops were already all gone. They were sold. I didn't think I was ever gonna be able to get my hands on a Majestic Weapon Shop. And if we look here, in the store, they're actually 1.8 million gala for a majestic weapon shop. That means that I got mine for 500,000 gala cheaper than the store price. So I'm really happy about the discount that I was able to get on this majestic weapon shop. And the guy who gave me the deal, I said I was gonna sell him a few majestic weapons at cost in exchange for the awesome deal that he gave me. So if we look here at what's the difference between the Majestic Forge and the Majestic Weapon Shop, well, since I own the Forge, let me just explain it to you a little bit. The description is very simple. It just says, the Majestic Forge rivals the sun 
easily purifying the mightiest of weapons and armor. And I don't even need to read it because I've already read it enough times. But it is a 20 by 40 structure, which is just going to be massive in world. It's going to be incredible to behold in game. I cannot wait to see it. But now the Majestic Weapon Shop is another 20 by 40 building. So I just doubled my square footage of, of building size pretty much. I actually, that's not true. I own a ton of taverns as well. But as far as Majestic, stick building size. I I've doubled. The five great kings come here to equip their imperial guard. Nothing more needs to be said. So even though I have bought this majestic weapon shop, I still don't have all the answers to, to exactly what its utility is going to be in game. Because in a very early Gala Games video about the forge, it was just a normal forge, I think like a 10 by 10 that Michael McCarthy was talking about in a previous video, the forge had its own shop inside. And it had me a little bit confused because I was like, wait, do I even need a majestic weapon shop? Like if I have my majestic forge, I get to mint my own majestic NFTs. And because I own those NFTs that I mint, it means that I could just sell my swords on open see or if I have my own shop inside I can just sell my swords straight out of my forge in game so I was a little bit confused what the purpose of a majestic weapon shop is like is the majestic weapon shop just a place that upsells weapons that they buy from forges like if I'm forging all the majestic weapons out of my forge right and uh, the majestic weapon shop owner is like man I got this massive storefront but I can't create my own weapons that means that the only thing the majestic weapon shop owner is going to be able to do is buy the weapons from me then upsell them to other people. I was a little bit confused about that and I, I reached out in the Gala Games Discord and I was like what is the purpose of these weapon shops and then a lot of information a lot of people had a lot of ideas about what might make the Majestic Weapon Shop very valuable. So for one, a Majestic Weapon Shop could act as a place where adventurers who have discovered these weapons from drops, from, from killing bosses, from clearing dungeons, they come back with this loot and they need to sell it somewhere, right? So the Majestic Weapon Shop might operate kind of like a resale slash purchaser, a liquidity place for gamers to come and sell their weapons that they found while adventuring to the Majestic Weapon Shop owner, and then the Weapon Shop owner gets to sell it to people that might need it. Because remember that this is going to be a massive game. So even though there's only five Majestic Weapon Shops, the Majestic Weapon Shop that I have placed in one of the five citadels, it's going to need to exist in more than one server. So you can say like there's one citadel, there's one weapon shop, but that one exact replica stacks maybe through 10 or 20 servers. So that means that gamers throughout all these servers might be coming to my same weapon shop, selling weapons for cheap, buying weapons for slightly more expensive, and it may be able to generate revenue that way. So that was like, okay, yeah, I, I kind of get where a majestic weapon shop would have a lot of value there, as long as you're able to strategically buy things from adventurers uh, for, for slightly cheaper um, and the reason they're willing to take the cheaper price is because they know that there's like instant liquidity there. They can just sell their weapons, get instant liquidity and then I have to hold all these weapons and uh, as adventurers come looking for powerful weapons they'll go to the weapon shop and find all of these weapons even more than are actually being forged specifically by players. So that was one of the things where I was like, okay, okay, I could see the weapon shop having a lot of use there. Then the other thing was that the description specifically says that the kings of Mirandus equip their guards from majestic weapon shops. So if there's some sort of mechanic that ensures that you have a guaranteed massive customer and obviously weapons, they dull out after a while, you need to re-equip, maybe better weapons get created. So every single year, there's probably going to be a good number of weapons that you can just sell to the kings of Mirandus so that they can continue to equip their guards. Also, if a massive guilds come in trying to equip a lot of people, well, a forge owner might be able to make one thing at a time, whereas at a weapon shop, there's going to be way more variety and you're going to be able to buy a ton of weapons for a ton of different people at once. So that is another reason why that weapon shop may have a lot of value in its own. And then the third and final thing, and this was the 
the nail in the coffin that made me shut the coffin and say, you know what, I'm doing it. I'm buying this Majestic Weapon Shop was the fact that I already have a Majestic Forge, meaning I don't have to buy my Majestic Weapons to sell at my shop from anyone. And that hopefully means that I'm gonna be able to undersell the other Majestic Weapon Shop owners. In fact, I was looking through and there is only one other Majestic Weapon Shop whose owner also owns a Majestic Forge. That means there's only gonna be two of us in all of Mirandis that get to produce and forge our own Majestic weapons to sell at our Majestic weapon shop. And because we own the supply, because I own the supply of my own shop, it means that I can offer far more competitive prices. So all of that came together. I was like, I'm getting a good deal on this. I finally understand where Majestic Weapon Shops are going to be able to generate uh, their own unique value in the world of Mirandus. And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do this. And then also I trust Michael McCarthy and team to balance this thing out. If they're charging $30,000 or, or, or $25,000, I think is the going price for these Majestic buildings, uh, then they're obviously going to ensure that there is unique value that each Majestic building or, or each building, even the lower tiers provide to the economy of Mirandus. So I tweeted out very excitedly in the Drunken Duck Discord. By the way, if you're not part of the Drunken Duck Discord yet, that is the tavern chain that I'm gonna be launching in Mirandus. Make sure you join the Drunken Duck Discord below and, and you can talk with us about Mirandus. I made a very exciting announcement to the Drunken Duck where I was like, I am proud to announce that the Drunken Duck now owns one of the five majestic weapon shops in Mirandus to pair with our Majestic Forge. Drunken Duck patrons will truly be the most well-equipped adventurers in Mirandus. And now it's like, it's not even a, a boast. It is, it is going to be the truth. Drunken Duck patrons are going to be the most well-equipped patrons in Mirandus because we don't only have our own forge, to, to forge majestic weapons, but we have our own majestic weapon shop as well. So if you want to be a mighty adventurer in Mirandas, make sure you join the Drunken Duck Discord. We have some epic franchise owners that are gonna be opening taverns all around the world of Mirandas, and we have some really cool things planned for the Drunken Duck. So thanks guys so much for watching this video, listening to my reasoning why I decided to buy this NFT for Mirandas. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a big thumbs up and then the video will get recommended to way more people. So that's super, super helpful. Hit subscribe, click the bell icon if you're not subscribed already and you'll be notified when I post new blockchain gaming content. And then finally, thank you guys so much for those of you who are patrons of this channel. You are who allows me and my brother and our friend to create this content. So thanks for your support. It is literally and truly invaluable to us. So appreciate that everyone who has become a patron of the channel. And then if you guys are not yet node operators for Mirandus, for those of you who don't know, Gala is going to be operating their games on a decentralized server base that players actually own and run from our computers. So I own a node, my brother Nate owns a node, Josh also owns a node. So we have three nodes running in this house. We love it. And you can actually earn passive daily income by running a node. And then if you do buy a node and you buy it through our referral link, then we actually get 10% of whatever your node earns on a daily basis. So it creates passive income for us as well. And that's another incredible way to support the channel. But as always, the only support we need is a thumbs up. So if that's all you can give, thank you so much for those thumbs up. And until next time, have fun roaming the metaverse.